this is gonna be a crazy. This is gonna be a really, really crazy story. Um, this one is is pretty wild. This one is pretty wild. I've um, I heard about this story. This one's pretty wild. I've um, I've seen crazy, but this is um, it's a whole new level, man. It's a whole new level. Nebraska mom had sex with daughter's teen preteen friends at boozy sleepovers. Jury finds. Christina Greer, 38, groomed and sexually assaulted two boys aged 12 and 13. What in the hell is this, bro? What is this, bro? Wow. Wow. I, um, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I, I look at a story like this and I say, definitely. You know, I mean, I just, fuck that. Like, uh, or, or, or lifetime imprisonment. No, no possibility of fucking parole. Fuck this. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. And the Nebraska jury found a 38 year old. 38, bitch. 38, bitch. These boys were 12 and 13. What the fuck is wrong with you? What is wrong? A Nebraska jury found a 38 year old mom guilty. Wednesday of sexually assaulting her daughter's young friends after grooming them at booze-infused overnight parties. Christina Greer, 38, allowed her 11-year-old to host sleepovers in involving a half a dozen children, including the victims, two boys aged 12 and 13. She was found guilty of three counts of first-degree sexual assault of a child, six counts of felony child abuse, and two counts of witness tampering Wednesday. She was cleared of two of the charges. Jurors spent three three hours deliberating, according to Sarpy County prosecutors. Wow. Between 2007 and 20, uh, 2018, Greer let the kids drink alcohol, consume marijuana, lay snacks, and play drinking games, according to the Sarpy County District Attorney's Office. And then she had sex with the boys. Deputy Sarpy, Deputy Sarpy County Attorney Philip K. Uh, Clean said that Greer's daughter testified that she heard her mother and one of the boys in, in, in her bedroom and they were kissing. And a teenage witness testified Greer's daughter had said the boy was having sex with her mom at, at, at the time, Clean said. Then, when she became aware of, law enforcement invest, of, of a law enforcement investigation, Greer told the children to delete any evidence from, from their phones, according to prosecutors. But investigators found explicit images of the mom on one victim's phone. We're immensely pleased with, with the verdict. He said, it's been three years, a harrowing experience for the families, for the victims. It's been a roller coaster for, of, of emotions. Just immensely proud of the victims in, in this case to be able to stay the course and still testify. Wow. Stuff like this, it just makes your skin crawl, man. Like, stuff like this, wow, that is... I hope they give her the most time possible. Greer's daughter also gave damning evidence to prosecutors, in, to prosecutors in, in 2019. Local media reported at the time. Greer's daughter said during, the pre, during a pre-trial hearing that her mom had, give, had, had taken her to Walmart to buy margarita mix for one of the sleepovers and that she had poured drinks for the children, according to Kearney Hub, a local news outlet. Greer faces a maximum of life in prison, of life in prison, and a mandatory minimum of forty-five years when she faces sentencing on April nineteenth. A mandatory minimum of forty-five years. I have no problem with it. I have no problem with it. You're giving children alcohol and freaking mar. You gave a ch a twelve, thirteen year old marijuana edibles. Do you understand? There are fucking adults who can't handle that. You could have killed them. You don't give children marijuana. Yes, there's been no recorded weed deaths, but you don't know what, what a freaking high-powered edible, you don't know how powerful that freaking edible was. You don't, you don't, you don't even know if she, if she brought it or made it. You don't know what the freaking THC levels or the freaking CBD, <laughs> fucking CBD goddamn uh, 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 levels are. You have you have no idea. You don't know what she gave those goddamn children. And freaking booze. And you have sex with them. I have no problem with her getting life in prison. And I'm so glad. I'm so glad you have no chance of getting out, bitch. You're going to die in there. 
and that's what you deserve. People who do this kind of shit to children, you go to prison and you fucking stay there. <laughs>